Hello YouTube. I am really, really tired at the moment, but let's not stop that me. No, let's stop up. But I'm not letting that stop me making this video. Hit it. It's been a while since I posted these teaser photos. And so I thought it's finally time to discuss the actual objects and show you some better pictures of them. If you've been following my videos, this all started around the time of my giveaway when I hinted I was doing something a bit different and that was the buckle bracelet which I'm amazed to get a photo here and I was thinking of ways I could make this um, more interesting to me, more interesting to other people maybe and one of the ways I thought I could do this was maybe making slightly a bigger cuff so yeah it's more of a cuff than a bracelet and giving it a bit of an armour shape so I was looking at like shoulder parts of armours, shapes of buckles and I came up with this sort of shape, this only paper, and so I would have a buckle here, maybe, that I would sew on, so I'd, if I had a bit of leather, sew on, buckle would be in there, you know, I could wrap it around, and it would be a bracelet. So, I started to do that, so this was my first attempt. I don't know if you can see, but I actually started to um, burn in picture as well on there, and the pictures were meant to symbolise sort of things to do with armour as well. So for this one I was drawing or burning in a skeleton. In another one I had like the idea of like some sort of sparrow or um, swallow which was meant to sort of signify because in like tattoos swallows were for like the navy I think I saw and so you sort of got one when you went out on a long tour and then you got one when you came back so it was meant to be like safety and the skull was about death and the way you know armour protects you from death. However with this one I wanted to stain it because I prefer the dark brown look. However the when I tried to burn the mark in or burn the pattern in this part is only burnt and the rest of it I started to draw back in after I burnt it in. The problem is I don't have the proper ink for that and so this ink just kept coming out and so I abandoned this and I ended up with this. So it has my buckle on there, you probably can't see it's probably going to be a bit blurry but I'll show off some photos as well. It has my buckle on there which is a bit tight because the leather hasn't broken in yet but when you flatten it out this is what it looked like and again pictures should be accompanying. So I like the way the skeleton shines out, or shines out, it's visible. I really like the textures I was getting on my buckle, which I showed you earlier as well. However, this piece doesn't really work. I think there's too much going on. For instance, maybe if I only burnt into it, burnt patterns into the leather, it'd be better. But I feel like the burnt pattern and the sewing and the textured buckle are all fighting for attention and neither of them are really winning out. So I feel like it's kind of a bit of a mess. Not only that, it doesn't sit very well on the arm. As this bit comes around, it's meant to sit on this point. However, obviously, you can see it doesn't really want to sit on there at all and just keeps sliding off one way or the other. And so it didn't really sit quite nicely. So yeah, I don't know whether just to sort of separate them and maybe use just burnt leather ideas in the future. I still really like my cast buckles. Again, the sort of roughness, I really like that look. And so I went back to doing my, my giveaway item and that's when I ended up with uh, this one. So again, it's just plain strap with the um, little, I forgot what you call this bit, but the, basically the little tag that holds the leather when it goes around. With this one, I didn't leave the bubble of silver or the sprue pouring because it was quite big, but I did leave it still rough where I cut it off because I really like the idea of seeing sort of how the piece is made, getting that feeling of hands hands-on work has been on this piece. I love the silver against the dark brown as well and the tan inside still. Again, you know, just a normal buckle, nothing too fancy. And the only real problem I've found with this at the moment is that because it's round, the leather has to be quite a bit smaller right here, right after the, the main bar of the buckle, because obviously the space is getting ever smaller and the leather's quite thick, so I think I'm going to have to work on some slightly different shapes, but what do you think about my ideas so far? Maybe look into some more sort of ornate shapes to work with, some more armour related shapes, some more buckle related shapes maybe, more typical square shaped buckles perhaps, 
might work out. Do you think I should be doing something a bit more with the band or do you think the band literally needs to be as plain as possible so that the buckle part itself shines out proper or better? I'm thinking of heading that way, keeping these band very simple and if I want to do anything more on it, maybe just go to like the burning, these bigger ones where I just burn into it. I've also had an idea of maybe like with this one where I've kind of that's the way I've connected the buckle is sewn a piece onto another, sewn a piece of the leather over another piece to trap the buckle. Maybe having that a bit thinner and then attaching like a normal watch strap almost to it. So you actually have like a normal latch at the back and then this just acts as like a centerpiece, just like an interesting centerpiece as maybe more people would be more used to doing like a watch rather than doing like something like this by themselves. I mean, it's not too hard, I can show you quickly. I find it easier if you sort of brace it against yourself. Okay, you can just pick it in, pull it up. Hopefully I'm catching this all on camera. Tuck it in, and there you go. So, it wasn't too hard to put on, or I didn't think so. Obviously the leather's a bit stiff at the moment, still still hasn't broken in. Do you think I should make them like stacker bracelets? Because if I grab my original one, so here was my original bracelet, you know, when I, that I made with just a plain piece of wire, or even rod you should probably say. I made this one a bit small. The, uh, the leather was a bit small, it doesn't leave much room to actually get it through, but do them as like stacking, stacking bracelets maybe. Um, do you prefer the like plainer look that I did on my giveaway one and this original one or do you like the cast buckles? Do you like the way I'm, where I'm planning to go with it? Maybe doing more like this but maybe slightly squarer buckles, maybe slightly more ornate but sort of square around where the leather goes through so it's easier to get through. To keep this video short because I think it's going on quite long, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know your ideas, your suggestions, what you think I could be doing better etc, what you like I, that I'm doing. Any sort of feedback would be brilliant so don't forget to subscribe down below and leave your comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that funny business. And I shall see you next time. Sparks out. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Look at that. Had a hair going in my mouth. I'm noticing that's one of the bad things about having a moustache. <laughs>